morning, Sandra. How are you? I'm doing good, Betty. Thank you for having me. Bless your heart, Sandra. I can hardly get it in a word edgewise. Always trying to control the conversation. My goodness. As I was trying to say, as I was broke before, I was rudely interrupted. Didn't your mama teach you manners growing up? I tee you up. But anyway, as I was trying to say, and by the way, what I'm about to share is not gossip and sanctified conversation because I, I'm not, I'm just wanting to say this as a prayer request. I'm genuinely concerned and I just want you to know that we need to pray. Okay? So this is not gossip. Sanctified conversation right now. And even venting. It's just me venting. Okay? Sandra? So the other day, I went over to the Hills house. You know, the Hills that lives right next to the pastor and his wife in the postage. Between you and me and the fence post, something's wrong with our pastor. I don't know what in the world he's doing. I think he puts the L in lazy. I mean, FYI, you don't want to know, want to know what goes on over there. I mean, the grass is so long. I mean, the shutters are needing it of painting. It, it just don't even, I mean, you know, he gets up on a Sunday morning and talks for about 30, 35 minutes. Sometimes even go to 40, 45. Doesn't he know that I'm wasting away and I've got to eat my dinner? Anyway, the fact of the matter is, you know, he yeah, sure he visits people, but he should call every church member at least once a day. And he, whoever wants a visitation every day, he should go, he, he should be able to do that. He's got lots of time on his hands. I know they say that t it takes quite a while to prepare a sermon to do a good job, but you know what? Just write down a couple thoughts, you know, and just go with God. That's all I can say. And you don't need all that sermon writing. Pfft, that That's not necessary. You don't need to do that. Just not necessary at all. You just get up there and God will give you the words to say, right, Sandra? Anyway, the fact of the matter is, is I went over to their house, Jack and Jill Hill, as I went over there and I have never, ever, ever, heard a woman speak so disrespectfully and so condescendingly and so just I, I just it went all over me how she talked to her husband I would never ever talk to my husband Bill like that not in a million years I mean, we she is controlling she puts the C in control and she we all know who wears the pants in that family don't we Sandra I'm telling you what now anyway uh, I just it just went all over me I would never do that hey Bill didn't I tell you to fix that leaky faucet yesterday? I'm telling you, these men, they don't, bless their little old hearts. They just need all the help they can, don't they? Anyway, Sandra, 